day I'm rebuilding a porch. As you can see, it's one of this hollow core posts for the column. It's right it off. And I'm going to replace it with a treated 6x6. Six six. The 6x6 six six comes 5 and a half inches wide. And this is 5 and a quarter. So what I'm going to have to do is rip that 6x6 six six down. I take a quarter inch off of each side. And we're going to replace all this and do a little bit different of a design. You can see that these posts down here are wobbly and rotting. So, so I know this might be a little ridiculous looking, but I'm ripping this big ass fucking beam post in a fucking table saw, tripping breakers. And they got to run it through one time this way. Flip it around and do the other side to knock a quarter inch off of this side and then do another side. So, <laughs> it is what it is. Now that the board is all ripped down to five and a quarter for this page right here, it's time to demo all the old rotted shit. Taking pictures if you need to to see how you're going to put it back. But in my case, what I'm doing is I'm doing it a little different. I'm not going to run my pickets down to the top of the two by four on the bottom, run them in the front so that. There's no way that the board's going to rot. So sometimes you want to take a picture of it if you're going to put it back in case you don't remember exactly how it was. Like you see how there's a one by 10 around the bottom of that post right there and a piece of cove molding and the two by fours run up into the one by 10. So you want to take notes. You just kind of pay attention to how it is, you know. And so right now what we're going to do is just go ahead on and just demo it. And then we'll stop getting ready to brace that up there put this post in. You can see when you run this through the table saw twice because the blade doesn't go up far enough to run it through in one pass. That's going to leave a little line. You see, that's when I'm going to take a table saw and uh, run it back through and knock that extra meat off. When you get to this point, you're going to take a palm sander and sand it down smooth. So now we got the old post pulled out and I got a new one in. That's my five quarter by five quarter we ripped in the table saw. And you notice I put a little dead man in there. It probably didn't need it, but so that's our new post. Now I want to work on the posts that go on the bottom down here. That 46 and a 16th was the old measurement. So my post is eight feet long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half, four feet and four feet. That way, in case I make that little triangle cut, wrong and it doesn't look good it gives me a little bit of space where i can do it again until i get it right and then i can measure down and cut my length so this is going to be the post at the bottom of the steps and it's eight feet so i've made a mark right here a four foot mark so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead on and cut this in half my cut side now, I'm going to go ahead on and cut the triangle on the top. So I measure down three quarters of an inch. Put the saw on a 45 degree angle. I want to make sure that I don't have any sawdust against my guard. Go back here. Make sure it's nice and square at the back of the guard.
that triangle cut that's going on top of the tires. Do that two times. Then I'm going to put a square up here and measure down 46 and 1 16th and cut the length. And then I'll have my two posts. So I want to make this post 46 and a 16th. So what I do is I put a square flat on the top of my board and I run my tape measure up against it. Just like that. And they make that, see? Just like that. Now I go down to measure 46 and a 16th, make a mark, cut it off square. I do that on both posts. Because you can't hardly get that measurement now because of this. So when I put my post on, I'm going to sit this face up here and make it level and make a mark. Take my square and transfer it over to the middle of this, two and three quarter inch. I'm going to drill up my big hole, my tear sink hole, first, big enough to fit the washer and the nut. Then I come back in with an auger bit and go through it this way. Then I'll put the masonry bit on there and go through it this way and drill a hole in the brick right there. This thing is, I'm gonna put my anchor, I put some glue on there. And today we are using Lock Creek TL TL 8X Lock Creek Fast Grab. Now. When I beat this in here, it's important that I put my nut and everything on it first. Because once you start hitting it with a hammer, it'll flare it out, so you gotta go get your nut on it. So you want to do that? You can anchor this little sleeve slides on there. Go to the front. Wash your first. The nut on there. I'm gonna hold up. I'm gonna take a hammer, tap that in the right. socket wrench. And crank that down. <laughs> the whole time while I'm cranking down, we leveling it. And that's how you put your post in. All right. Now you can see, there's your bolts. And they're all cut off flush. You cut them off with a sawzall and a grinder. And flatten them down so they're flush and recessed down to the, into the wood. It's glued. And we'll let this sit for the night, let that glue set up, come back tomorrow, and go ahead on and stop building the hand railing. Now we're getting ready to go do the other side, same as this one. Yep. All right. So now everything is ready to put the, the hand railings on. And you want to get the angle of your hand railings. So you let the, put it, take a two by four, you set it on this cap, and then set it on the bottom of the step down here on the outside edge. Take a pencil, a trick a line, like that. Now, I'm going to mark it that this is going to be the top. And the top and the bottom will be the same because the post level. So I'm going to cut two boards just like this. Just like that. And then this will be your top and your bottom. Then I'll put a handrail on top of this one. That's how you get your angles and stuff. So I'm going to go cut this. Now I've cut my angles, the ones that I marked when I laid it down on the steps and everything. And I, the same angle and the same length of board on the bottom is on the top. And then you also put your hand railing on the top of that board and get the same angle. You get all your angles the same way. Now, this board right here is three and a half inches. So at an inch and three quarters, you're going to put a mark. Inch and three quarter, just like that and an inch and three quarters, you're gonna make a mark. And then you come down to your two by four, 
you go three quarters of an inch and you line your marks up. That way your two by four is right in the very middle. Just like that. After everything's all nailed up, you paint and seal it in. The next thing I do is make the pickets. Now when I do the pickets on the steps right here, I'm actually go between the two by four like that. And I right here I'm gonna go underneath of this two by four on the front, and then I'm gonna cut an angle. And I'm gonna die it out like about a half inch from the bottom. And to do that, I'm going to measure the distance between here and here. And I'm going to strike a line. And I'll start right in the middle. And then run it down. And I'm going to use a 2x4 block as a gauge. And just cut all my pickets and go right on down. And just like that. Whap, 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 whap. With a quickness. So now all my regular pickets are done. I'm going to lay out the one on the stairway. So I'm going to measure the distance from post to post. And the half of it, I'm going to put a mark of what it is. 37 and 3 quarters. And then I'm going to just hold my picket up here, put a level on it, and strike a line at the top and at the bottom with a pencil. That's going to get my angles. Once I shoot this one in, use a 2 by 4 block, and all the rest of them will be the same Go from the top to the bottom on both sides. So now everything is all done. All the pickets are in, the steps, the stair railings, the post. And what we'll do now is just let this dry for a little while. And then come back and uh, and paint it. And that's all it is to it. So if you like this video, subscribe to Get Go TV. If you've got a question, leave a question in the comments, and I'll make sure I answer your question. And make sure you hit the notification button so when we upload another video, you'll know, and you can watch some more home improvement shit. So y'all have a good day now. And that's how you build stair railings. Have a good day. Remember now, subscribe to Get Go TV. <laughs> Hell yeah.